Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. This time we have the new Dragon Knowledge spell mod. Last week we featured the Dragon Soul Relinquishment, a mod that let you take part in a ceremony that lets you exchange Dragon Souls for a variety of different buffs for your character. Although the mod worked great, it did require a script extender to work, and it might have been a little over the top for certain players. Well, yesterday we were browsing the Nexus and found the Dragon Knowledge spell mod, a much simpler approach to the exchange of Dragon Souls. The mod adds a new lesser power called Dragon Knowledge that lets you exchange a set number of Dragon Souls for a single perk point. The advantage of a lesser power means you can use it anywhere and at any time, and because there's virtually no delay, you can very quickly exchange all of your spare souls for perks. Similar to the relinquishment mod, you can use console commands to change the values. So set perk soul cost to 5 will change the mod so it takes 5 souls to get one perk in return. So again, very simple and can be fit for any player. Both mods have pros and cons. Relinquishment is well thought out and well executed with a fully animated ceremony, and visual effects that work well alongside the vanilla Dragon Soul Absorb effects. You also have more exchange options with things like unarmed damage and carry weight. The downsides include the use of a Skyrim script extender, and because the mod alters High Hrothgar, it's also more prone to clashes. Which is actually one of the knowledge mod's upsides. Because of its simplicity, it's very unlikely to clash with any other mods. There's also no other requirements both outside and inside the game. You automatically start with the power, and using it is as easy as you could ever possibly make it. The downsides include the amount of exchange options available, and the lack of any in-game explanation. Both mods get additional pros for their ability to configure it in-game, which puts them above the older exchange mods that tend to use menus, which is both tedious to use and it usually limits the changes you can make to the values. So now that you know about both mods, take in the positives and the negatives and make your choice. And as always, we hope you enjoyed the spotlight, let us know down below if you'd like to see more of this type of comparison video in the future, and thanks for watching.